Uh, the next speaker is Dominic Thorncroft. Uh, he's chair of the UK Money Transmitters Association, which serves as the trade body for payment institutions and agencies in the UK and provides a forum for discussion of questions relating to the payment sector and money transfer. Does that sound okay? Yes, that's, that's, very, yeah. that's very good, uh, Lady Kinner. Thank you so much. Um, and can I say how pleased I am to be here and uh, coming to events like this uh, at uh, organisations like ODI reminds me of the idealism that partly motivated me to be, become involved in uh, money transfer um, uh, in, as, as long ago as 2000 uh, when I uh, became a compliance officer for one of the money transfer companies operating then on very much on the Western on the Western Union model uh, and um, uh, since then obviously uh, I've, I've been involved in many aspects of it and uh, certainly now I'm the chairman of the Trade Association for the UK and we have a number of uh, money transfer companies uh, who are focusing on remittances and so uh, um, I, I think uh, that I've developed some familiarity with, with, with some of the some of the issues. Um, I, what I should say, uh, as I d don't represent either uh, Western Union or MoneyGram, uh, uh, just, just, just for my, just, I, I value my life, so I, I, I thought I would probably put that on the record. Uh, um, we, our, our companies are uh, in, in many ways the competition that we've talked about so much here, and uh, I, I, I want to say um, a, a word about where our, our member companies are at the moment, and uh, in, in saying something, I want to just uh, express our thanks to Arishnara Ali, who spoke so well earlier, and who has indeed provided great leadership on this issue uh, in the House of Commons, and uh, has uh, um, uh, been a very, very helpful uh, agent for change, and, and we appreciate that. But the reality is, um, notwithstanding her, her sterling efforts, um, we, we have got to a situation now where the government has recognised how important this issue of uh, uh, remittances is and has recognised that there is a, a crisis at the moment uh, in, in as much as the smaller uh, companies <coughs> are being excluded from the market. Uh, and that is a, a consequence of the, uh, of, of the banks uh, deciding en masse that they, they do not want to serve the, the smaller money transfer companies. Uh, and that's the community-based companies that uh, I'm sure all those in this room would, would very much like to see flourish. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, that has an amazing uh, impact in terms of competition. And we've, we've seen today, through this excellent report, which I, I want to commend ODI on, uh, in terms of um, showing us that prices are rising up again uh, uh, to sort of levels that they were 15 years ago. Uh, and uh, we're going backwards. And, and we, 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 are, we are going backwards at the moment. Um, what I would say is that this is a consequence uh, of the banks beha behaving entirely rationally. Um, I mean, all those who said that the banks need great regulation uh, post the crash of 2008 uh, are sowed the seed in a sense we're, we're, we're reaping the whirlwind because the banks have behaved entirely rationally in deciding and looking at their portfolio of businesses and saying, look, um, money transfer companies, too risky, too much risk of money, of money laundering, too much risk of terrorist financing, just cut them off. We don't make that much money out of them anyway, so uh, we will we will just we will just do away with them. And, um, and and that was the reality. And certainly last year, the last remaining bank in the market pulled out, and 150 money transfer companies lost uh, lost their accounts. And w we are in a, in in a situation and, and could not find other other accounts. And we are now in a situation where. W um, I, I don't want to preempt what, what we're going to hear from Abdi Rashid, but uh, certainly we were all interested to see what was going to be the outcome of the of the of the uh, case involving uh, Dabshil and, and Barclays. Uh, and I understand it's settled, but I'm not going to. Perhaps I can leave it to him to say whatever's possible <laughs> to say on that. However, it still leaves a problem. Um, I I have to say the the cross border remittances working group of which we are members is is, is trying to come up with. Uh, uh, an alternative, a safer corridor for Somalia, which is just about the most difficult market in the world. Uh, and um, the, the, the whispers I hear about it do not give me confidence. I think we're going to end up with, uh, um, uh, with a, a, an elephant where we, where we need a tiger, uh, in as much as I think we're going to come up with something that doesn't meet the needs of the market, is not commercially viable. So I th think we, we have, I have to just strike a note of caution on, on, on that point. Um, the, re the reality is that uh, this market um, is not a national market, it's an international market, and one of the difficulties about it is to recognise that 
the, the, the banks are international institutions uh, and they, they are dealing with small national uh, money transfer companies in, in the UK uh, example. They are operating international law in a, in a, and they're responding to international law in, in a totally rational way. Uh, and it's not just, it's, it's the laws that, that are set by the, the principles that are set down by the Financial Action Task Force. Uh, you've got the World Bank, you've got the regional uh, implementation of that through, through uh, um, legislation like the Payment Services Directive and the Anti-Money Laundry Directive. And then in the UK, you've got an alphabet soup of regulators, the FCA, the uh, HMRC, NCA, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and a new regulator just, in, uh, just, uh, just announced for payment, for payment systems. So the, the difficulty is to try and get consensus, but we are about solutions here. So uh, I think that the, th the key thing, the, th the key four places where I think we can get some solutions, we need to put pressure on at, fa at the FATF, Financial Action Task Force level, uh, uh, which because they set the principles around anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist finance, which is where the banks take their, their lead from. What needs to happen is that the World Bank uh, and FATF should be constantly in dialogue to come up with some sensible solutions around uh, the analysing and properly managing the risk in, in money transfer firms. I, I share the view uh, that, uh, that the money transfer firms are often, very often not at fault, if there's nothing wrong, uh, but unfortunately we have, to, uh, we have to convince a whole lot of other people, in, particularly the banks, to demonstrate that, that controls are robust. Uh, and that also that relates to the, the regulation that's in place. So there needs to be a conversation at that level, and it's, it's a, that needs to be something that ministers, government ministers, uh, are taking a lead mm -hmm. on. It's so it's so important. That's the most important thing they can do, um, because a lot of this discussion is, is at that level. There needs to be a discussion at the American regulator level. I have to tell you, I heard from a banker uh, the other day who said to us that, uh, oh, that sorry, it's not the banks. Uh, who said to me that. Uh, they had been talking to, um, uh, they'd been in a conference where the, the, the Ameri uh, s s some New York bankers had said, look, we find you uh, and uh, it's not working, so the next time we catch you out, we're going to put you into jail. So that, that is the environment in which the, uh, the, the, uh, the banks are operating in America and obviously they, a lot of the UK banks, uh, don't want to lose their, their licences. So uh, th that's why it's so difficult. Um, Going on from that, though, we need to look at issues like whether or not we can talk to the Bank of England here. Uh, and I think I would really suggest that, uh, again, this is a matter for politicians to say if this is an important issue, which it is an important issue, then we need to, to, to go and talk to the Bank, Bank of England and say, look, if the, if the UK banks aren't going to provide a solution, it's up to you, Bank of England, to come up with a solution. Uh, and I, I do think that that's, that's the sort of discussion that should be uh, on the table. Uh, and, and then further than that, obviously, We've talked about the FCA um, uh, as be having a role in terms of uh, addressing some of the some of the problems around competition. It has to be emphasised we have a, the problem that we have with the FCA actually accepting responsibility in this market. The day-to-day -day supervision is not done by the FCA. They've got the day-to-day -day supervision around money laundering is done by uh, customs, uh, and the F FCA have not been engaged with this matter sufficiently. Again, I think it's very important that we should have a discussion with the with the FCA. There needs to be a discussion with the British Bankers Association. The banks at the moment uh, are not moving on this issue. They still think the risk is too great, uh, and uh, whatever the good intentions might be around this working party, if the banks don't move. Uh, we're not going to make any progress. So there needs to be a discussion with the British Bankers Association facilitating a dialogue between the banks and the money transfer companies about the ways in which money transfer companies uh, manage the risks. <coughs> and, and finally, I would just say, look, um, if we want to try and, and uh, great, great, um, uh, open the market here, we, we need to get some new providers uh, uh, here in the UK. And it's always been a, a great uh, uh, source of uh, surprise to me that we haven't put, we haven't, there hasn't been political pressure being put on the post office uh, to do more to uh, meet the needs of money transfer <laughs> companies in, in the UK, uh, either in providing facilities uh, of some kind, uh, and I, I think that's something that needs, needs to be explored. But the, we certainly are at a very difficult time. We're moving backwards rather than forwards, but I do commend this report, which has given this very important issue that the, a, high, a, a desperately needed highlight. So well, thank you to the report thank you. authors. Thank <laughs> you.